Don't just ride the index. Seek to outperform it with Fidelity Active ETFs. Learn more at fidelity.com slash active ETFs. Before investing in any exchange-traded fund, you should consider its investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses. Contact Fidelity for a prospectus, an offering circular, or if available, a summary prospectus containing this information. Read it carefully. While active ETFs offer the potential to outperform an index, these products may more significantly trail an index as compared with passive ETFs. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC, member NYSE, SIPC. Want to connect with a family member who doesn't speak your language? Then check out the language learning program Rosetta Stone on desktop or as an app. Rosetta Stone is designed to immerse you in the language you're learning through an intuitive process. Plus, the True Accent feature even gives you feedback on your pronunciation. And with a lifetime membership, you have access to all 25 offered languages. Get started today. Visit rosettastone.com backslash pod 50 to get 50% off your lifetime membership now. That's rosettastone.com backslash pod 50 for 50% off. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, one. Welcome all to another fantastic AFK solo episode with me, Ninja. And joining me today is me. And you, we're cracking open the AFK chat room once again and hearing from all you lovely listeners out there. Your thoughts, your comments, your questions, they're all about to be explored. So let's huddle in. All right, we are starting out with Marina. Ninja. Who are your top three Marvel superheroes and DC superheroes? Oh, boy. Mm, Top three Marvel and top three DC superheroes. So, oh, that's actually tough. So top three DC, I mean, you have to have Batman. It's not even a question. Um, I was also obsessed with, uh, when I was watching the Justice League, I was obsessed with the Green Lantern as well, like the original cartoon. I was a huge fan of that. Uh, or I'm sorry, of that. I was a huge fan of him. And then the Flash, dude. The Flash, like the uh, the Flash show on. Um, I it was on Netflix, I think. Was just out of this world, like so predictable in terms of the how the like the layout of the episodes. But I absolutely loved uh, love the Flash. So those are my top three DC. And then Marvel. I mean, it's going to be Iron Man. Not even a question. It, you you, you got to have a. Uh, well, that's mainly because of Tony Stark. Um, well, you know, Robert Downey Jr., the way he played uh, Tony Stark just made me such a huge fan for of uh, of Iron Man. I, I, you know, I, I'll, I'll just throw this out. I'll just say Captain America because I actually really did enjoy... Uh, I played Captain America in Marvel vs. Capcom, Cap, Marvel vs. Capcom, Captain America, and Spider-Man. Those are my top three. Um, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain America, because those were actually all three of my favorite characters to use and play. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, when I used to play that game on the second Dreamcast, by the way. An absolute just banger of a of a game and a system. Didn't It just came out just a one or two years early, bro. It, just, it was just too early, unfortunately. But thank you so much for your question. Ninja, Andre, good morning, Kings. Uh, my question can be able for both of you. What is the future of Ninja Solo games? For what it's worth, this is my ringing endorsement to throw on a stream, no camera, just vibe out in single player. I would love it. I think it could also clear out some of those Battle Royale kiddos in chat that kind of wear us all down. Uh, Bonus question, as you delve into more sports, would you consider tennis as a longevity sport? Yo, Michael, man, I really appreciate that question. Thank you solo games dude so let me here let me finish off let me just finish with the second question which is uh the tennis yeah dude i, th- I think that we might be able to get into tennis like to, to touch on maybe some important matches and important tournaments like in the future on the sports show but as of right now i think that everyone's like hype and focus right now really is, is going to be continued around college football college basketball nfl nba nhl and you know just a lot of the major major leagues right now as i think that that's also what more like most people want to hear but you know moving on to the future yeah we could definitely have some tennis segments and stuff like that i actually you know andre's been trying to you know my assistant for those of you who don't know uh he's been getting me into some tennis bets and uh for sports betting and you know it's fun to watch some of the matches i mean it's a lot of fun to watch the matches so good uh, great question there as for the first question which i have to take a minute okay yeah solo games bro yeah, I, I, you're absolutely right. It's very annoying to have just the the battle royale kids in there in the chat. They can be, you know, 
silly and one single minded um, and kind of brain dead sometimes, right? Because they're only there for that one game. But that's every game. That's everyone. But as for the solo games, yeah, man, I mean, I'm doing a solo playthrough of FS7 Rebirth right now, which is great. Um, the viewers aren't terrible, right? Like, obviously, I expect to drop below 50% of whatever my normal viewership is when I play a game such as Final Fantasy. Um, so other solo games might pull more viewers, but for some reason, Final Fantasy is just like this niche, like viewing experience where like y you just have to be a diehard to enjoy it uh, or to watch it, I feel. But yeah, great question, man. In the future, yes, like I, I've, and the fact that I'm playing this right now is a sign that, you know, I probably will play other solo games uh, and solo playthroughs on the channel, man. So thank you for submitting your question, Michael. Thank you for watching the streams. Our next question is from Mike. If you had to put your net worth on the line in a bet, one versus one, zero build, Tim the Tapman versus none other than Bearded Blevins, where are you putting your money? Where are you going to risk it? Who's coming out on top? I'm curious. The world needs to know. Thanks. Big time fan. Love you. Oh, the world, dude. Thank you, Mike. The world needs to know, man. I'm putting my entire net worth on a 1v1 bearded Blevins versus Tim the Tap Man. Zero build. Bro. You know, if Tim is give, give give Tim like a week of playing zero build consistently on stream, and and that would be uh, it would be a no brainer. It'd be Tim the Tap Man. Uh, it'd be Timmy Boy, especially if Tim was trying. Like Tim has Tim ha Tim doesn't try a lot. Uh, he almost tries never. Like when Tim is actually sweating, he he can be a really good gamer. But ninety nine percent of the time, he's just you know he pushes in WQs for memes and stuff like that. So John, I know you're listening to this, or this is going to be clipped and sent to you, or someone's going to talk about it, and you're you know you're going to call me out on a, on a Family Fortnite Friday about this comment. But yeah, it's it's definitely it's. I'm sorry, the the entire net worth is throwing the money line down on Tim the Sat Man. Hey folks, Ninja here. And let me tell you about a game changer for your mealtime routine this spring. They're delicious, chef-crafted meals, ready to eat in just two minutes. That's right, I'm talking about Factor. Factor's ready-to-eat meals are a lifesaver. No more stressing over meal prep or spending hours in the kitchen. Plus, with over 35 options on the menu each week, you'll never get bored. And here's the best part. You can customize your meals, too, to fit your needs and your schedule. The flavors are incredible. And knowing that each meal is chef crafted and dietitian approved gives me peace of mind. Factor has truly made eating healthy and stress free. Head to factormeals.com slash ninja50 and use code ninja50 to get 50% off of your first month plus 20% off your next month. That's code ninja50 at factormeals.com slash ninja50 for an amazing deal on premium ready to eat meals. A big shout out to Factor for making mealtime a breeze. Want to connect with a family member who doesn't speak your language? Then check out the language learning program Rosetta Stone on desktop or as an app. Rosetta Stone is designed to immerse you in the language you're learning through an intuitive process. Plus, the True Accent feature even gives you feedback on your pronunciation. And with a lifetime membership, you have access to all 25 offered languages. Get started today. Visit rosettastone.com backslash pod 50 to get 50% off your lifetime membership now. That's rosettastone.com backslash pod 50 for 50% off. All right, we got another question from Nick. Let's hear it, buddy. Hey, Ninja. If you had the opportunity to change your career and be in a completely different field of work, what would you choose to do? Oh man, I get this question all the time. What would I do if I didn't stream and I had a beast like in something else, man? I mean, honestly, brother, I think, I think I'd be an entrepreneur and like create something, right? Create a product and, 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 you know, do that, right? Like start a business up. I, I, I've always been a super creative out of the box thinker and I've had ideas in the, like, you know, in the past. And I, so I think if I like sat down and, you know, created something that, that was missing, uh, yeah, I think I could do it. I think I could do it. So I got, I would, I I've been doing this for so long. Like I, I can't imagine working for someone else. Um, 
and and not being my own boss. Um, so, uh, simple simple answer there. Thank you for your question, Nick. Appreciate it, man. All right, another question comes from Scott. Let's hear it, dude. Yo, Ninja, big fan, buddy. Been a fan since way back in the day. Just want to know whatever happened to that relationship between you and Hysteria. You guys had 22 in a row, and you missed that launch pad. What happened to that relationship? <laughs> Yo, dude, Scott, I appreciate the question, man. Uh, the 22 in a row is a win streak, right? We're, we're Jacob and I going for the win streak. So for those of you who don't know, that's a great question, man. Um, <laughs> truly, truly an OG. So for those of you who don't know, Hysteria was, was an ex, uh, well, he was not an ex. I guess he was a professional uh, professional Halo player at the time, one of the best snipers in Halo 3. Uh, was on the dominant triggers down uh, back in the MLG Halo 3 days. Uh, we ended up teaming in the future around Halo Reach um, and and also in like Master Chief collections. You know, we, we became friends, hung out. And yeah, we, you know, we, we just always kind of gamed games together. So we also, you know, eventually Fortnite came around. I had him added and, you know, I always played with my friends. I didn't care how big I got. So yeah, Jacob and I used to play games. He was great um, at that game as well. And yeah, no, we just kind of like, it's not like we grew apart or anything like that. Like I'm sure Jacob and I could hop on and play right now and we'd be fine. But you know, we kind of, people just kind of go their separate ways. I think he kind of stopped playing a lot of Fortnite and technically I did too, right? I was playing, I switched, there were times I stopped playing Fortnite, I played Final Fantasy 11 for like a year when I, during COVID. And then I played Valorant after COVID, uh, try to compete in Valorant. So yeah, you know, it, it wasn't, wasn't anything crazy. There's no drama there. Um, Jacob and I are still friends. We don't text each other or anything like that, but I'm pretty, you know, I've been tuning in every once in a while to some of his stuff. I think he's been doing a lot of Pokemon card collecting and like uh, Pokemon card up to, uh, openings and pack openings, things like that. So thank you for your question, Scott. Appreciate it, man. All right, next question comes from Sonny. Hey, Ninja. This is Sonny, a uh, longtime subscriber on Twitch, but um, I just wanted to say, uh, how hard is it for you to turn off the switch of always having to be on um you know you stream your hours on end and and having to have your personality shine the engagement um having the chat flow um engaging with the chat etc how hard is it to turn that off um how much does it take out of you and what do you do in that off time when you're not streaming um just from a you know your voice and and just resting it <laughs> So, dude, Sonny, thank you for your question, man. Thank you for t- taking the time to submit it, bro. And long time sub, also appreciate that. So, I've been doing this for so long. It's the same. It's kind of like the same thing with my. So many ways, so many things I want to say right now. So, I've been doing this forever, bro. Like, I've been doing this for such for such a long time. It's just like I've been gaming forever. My eyes don't hurt after tw- you know twenty hour sessions. My my voice. I never lose. I never lose my voice from streaming no matter how much I'm talking. Now, if I'm like screaming and stuff like that, <laughs> like I obviously I think I would lose my voice, but yeah. So like in terms of recovery and things like that, I don't really have to do much other than just literally sleep at night, which I don't know if that's luck or if it's because I've been doing it for so long, but like, you know, t- and, and as for like turning, turning off, like when I stream, I literally am just me. And it, it, like even more so as I get older, like I just, I don't, I don't, it's it, it dude that's the thing like it is exa- it would be exhausting if i was acting right if i was trying to be somebody else that i'm not for 4 to 8 hours a day every day like yeah it would be exhausting i would need time to recharge i would need to do special things to like get away and reset and stuff like that but like you guys just get you know me right who i am and and how i act and th- my thoughts and like i don't act and i'm not i don't say things i wouldn't say on or off stream like i'm just i'm like i'm just the same i'm just the same person so that makes it really helpful uh, and definitely takes away like the recharge time. But things that I do to, you know, relax and stuff, dude, like I play, you know, play some video games off stream. That helps to just kind of zen, na- zen out, spend time with Jess, my dogs. When I don't have these stitches on my foot, you know, going on walks and things like that. So, yeah, great question, man. Thank you for your support, man. Thank you for um, for taking the time to submit it. Appreciate it, Sonny.
Want to connect with a family member who doesn't speak your language? Then check out the language learning program Rosetta Stone on desktop or as an app. Rosetta Stone is designed to immerse you in the language you're learning through an intuitive process. Plus, the True Accent feature even gives you feedback on your pronunciation. And with a lifetime membership, you have access to all 25 offered languages. Get started today. Visit rosettastone.com backslash pod 50 to get 50% off your lifetime membership now. That's rosettastone.com backslash pod 50 for 50% off. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. And then we got another Sunny question from another different Sunny. Hey, Nina. I always wanted to ask you, what was your daily routine on a stream day in the OG days? Oh, dude, Sunny, I appreciate the question, man. At least I think it's Sunny. Uh, he didn't say his name was. Um, dude, the OG days, brother. Okay, 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 okay. I'll give you two answers to this question because there are two different streaming, like, my 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 first two streaming schedules so one of them was when i was still going to college and i was still working at noodles and company so a day like that would be like let's say i worked early in the morning uh so a day like that would be i would wake up i would probably have streamed the night before until like two or three in the morning go, gone to bed around two or three four o'clock woken up around eight showered went to work at like 8.39, it's usually, I almost never did doubles. So uh, I would stream from, or a work, you know, working noodles from like nine till like one or two, come home, shower, and immediately start either A, start streaming until, you know, four in the morning again. So like from stream from three o'clock, three till four. So like an, an 11 hour or, uh, you know, 12, 13 hour banger, go to bed, wake up, do it all over again. But if I had a school, uh, then I would do the same thing, come home, stream from like, I think it, would, it was like, I had like, I, oh, I made sure that I only had night classes or like a super early morning class on a weekend. So then I would come home, stream from like three to eight or like three to seven, go to class, come home, turn my stream back on and then stream until like, you know, two or three in the morning. Uh, so that was when I had school and work. And then when I didn't have school or work anymore and I went streaming full time, I'm not joking. My schedule was wake up at 8 a.m., 7 a.m., 6 a.m., whenever I wake up, stream for 18 hours, go to bed, rinse and repeat. And I did that for like eight years. So thank you for your question, man. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a grind session for the, for, uh, for the first, you know, for the first half of my streaming career. I would say the first 80, 90% of my streaming career. All right, final question. Here we go. From Zion. Zion? Uh, my question is, uh, how do you stay motivated and focused during long gaming sessions? How do I stay focused and motivated during long gaming sessions? So that's difficult, man. It can, it can always be, it can be two different things. There's different ways to stay motivated. And like, it depends on, I guess, what you, like what, what game you stream and what type of streamer you are. For me, there's two things. I can either focus on like what's going on in my life and like talk to my chat that way or i can just focus on you know the game right like if one or the other if i'm doing if i'm playing horrible and i'm not having a great day i'll like shift kind of the way that the stream is going and really just kind of engage with the chat and just play off of the chat the entire time um because obviously i'm getting destroyed and there's really not a lot of entertainment coming from me getting shit on um, but if I'm also dominating and playing incredibly well and hitting a lot of clips, then I'll kind of just almost be a little bit more quiet and just focus on just shredding and dominating, um, which is very always, you know, entertaining to watch and just, you know, people reacting to my chat, reacting to me shitting on everyone or, you know, the other way around where it's like, I'm getting shit on, I'm trying, then I start like telling jokes and stuff like that and being funny and then reacting to chat, uh, like that. And then, you know, just talking about life and what's going on to kind of get away from the fact that I'm not playing very well. So yeah, I mean, it's a little bit, you know, pick your pick, pick whatever you need to, to, 
to keep on keeping on, man. Back back in the day, it was super easy. Like I would just game. I would just game for eight, 12 hours, 16 hours. And just, you know, uh, I just had so much focus on the game, but I've, I've played Fortnite so much now. Like, <clears throat> you know, it's a struggle to, to push past a four hour stream playing the same game over and over again. If I'm playing solo, um, it helps when you can, you know, if you're really struggling to push through a session, you know, having a, having another streamer and somebody to play with and bounce off ideas off of and, and bounce like banter off of also can be very helpful. Um, thank you so much for your question. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Another amazing episode uh, of solo AFK with Ninja. Um, Big, just thank you so much for for taking the time again to tune in listen submit your questions i really 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 appreciate it uh, i hope these are the answers that you guys were looking for as well for those who are asking for pieces of advice uh etc and thank you yeah have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys on the next episode peace and there you have it folks we've reached the end of another epic afk with ninja episode if you've enjoyed the journey thus far, please consider leaving a rating, review, and hitting that follow button. We have a ton of incredible guests coming your way, and I want you to be the first to know when a new episode drops. Until next time, catch you soon. It's a-